Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching us tonight. Three weeks until the presidential election, what is really going on? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. A new Fox News Rasmussen poll says that the election has dramatically changed since September 21st, around the time the economy began to seriously wobble. In the key state of Florida, for example, McCain was leading by five points on that date. Today, he's behind by five points. In the vital state of Ohio, McCain was up four points on the 21st. He is now down by two. And in Virginia, Virginia, the same thing. McCain was up by two back then. He's now down by three. The economic chaos has greatly benefited Obama. That's just the way it is. So far, Senator McCain has tried to parry Senator Obama in the stimulus game, but that's not a winning strategy. For decades, the Democrats have been the entitlement party, the Republicans the party of self-reliance. There's no way McCain can out-entitle Obama, no matter what plan he tries to sell. The only area where McCain could score, and big, is enforcement and oversight, bringing to justice the villains who have caused all the economic pain. There are bad guys in this situation, and they should be held accountable. The Democrats will not do that because too many of those responsible are in their own party. But Maverick McCain is capable of going after all the guilty ones, Democrats and Republicans alike, as well as the corrupt, deceitful CEOs. That's what the suffering public wants, some passion for justice, as well as tax relief and a sound plan going forward. So that is Senator McCain's opening. Talking Point suggested the senator concentrate on the justice area in the last debate, but he didn't do it. The result, another stalemate, no momentum for McCain. Senator Obama is simply too good a debater to think he can beat him on complicated tax plans. It's not going to happen. But Obama is a cautious politician, not a demonstrative crusader, while McCain is much more emotional. So again, he has an opening to right some wrongs. No matter what happens in the debate tomorrow night, it is a tough climb for John McCain. The Obama campaign is smart, has tons of money, and at this point, all they have to do is sit on the lead. It'll take some dramatic moments for McCain to get moving again. And that's the one. Now for the top.